Ooh. So the game is over, guys. Don't lie, Zalei. You love this song. A bit in shaping turn too. Okay. So, so yeah. I guess that would mean rank 17. So I feel like I already won this game. It could be anything. Oh, it's a big priest. And why did he play? For forbidden shaping or what's the name of this card on turn two? Yeah, I guess he's just bad. Okay, good thing he doesn't have eternal servitude in his hand. He might discover it. So I just need to get Shadow Reaper and uh, then I'll probably win this game. Pyromancer will be nice because you can draw a lot of cards with Pyromancer plus Cleric and Circle of Healing. Hmm. Lara is nice for the future if I get my Shadow Reaper because I already have Ident Elemental. Oh, Spirit Lash is also nice. You can play Cleric plus Spirit Lash and Circle and draw a lot of cards. Okay, sure. So what do I do here? I can play Cleric, Spirit Lash plus Circle. Draw four cards. <laughs> the problem is that I will all or draw a few cards. I can play Shadow Work Horror first. I don't need Shadow Work Horror anyway. Unless I get Pin Size Potion. But it's more important to draw cards. And get uh, Shadow Reaper as fast as possible. You can also play Lyra with some spells. And then potation should I get it back with eternal servitude? Okay, hopefully no Shadow Reaper. Velen is not even that important. Okay. I don't need Shadow Pain. Shadow 
pain could have been good with pin size potion, but it's probably probably one of the best card to lose. I like saving pin size potion. I can combine it with potion of madness, steal his statue and play dragon fire potion, kill his big minion. So I guess I just play eternal servitude. Because I need to play cards. Because I have too much cards in my hand. And uh, yeah, as soon as I get my Shadow Reaper, I'll just win the game. I probably can kill him even without Velen. With Lyra plus Radiant Elemental, just get infinite Holy Smites. I can play Arcanai plus Binding Hill and Hero Power. But it's kind of good for me to save his Obsidian Statue on board. I wonder. So I can play Potion of Madness plus Princess Potion later. And kill his big minion. Well, let's play Kazakos now. And uh, then see. And take 10 here. Looking for Polymorph Potion. Gain 10 armor is uh, definitely the best one here. Yeah, I think I just out can I plus binding kill. Still has two statues in his deck. So I can get value of my pin size potion plus potion of madness later on. It's also good to save it for Lyra or Velen. He doesn't have Shadow World Pain. This then is just perfect for me. Okay. He got the ZR card, but it doesn't matter. And I have so much time to get my Shadow Reaper. And as soon as I get him, I just kill him. Especially if I get Velen. Oh, he also has his own Shadow Reaper. But it doesn't matter because he doesn't have Raza. Okay. The game is over. The, light has betrayed me. And the only question if I go for Lyra proceeding from Elemental next turn if I don't get Velen or if I just wait for Velen. I can just wait with with that Kazakas potion. I think I just wait for Valen. Huh, <laughs> okay, never mind. But can I kill him now? Valen plus Mind Blast plus Radiant Elemental is 24. Pin size potion is 28. Silence is 32 damage. Not all. So yeah, easy game, easy life. Oh. <laughs> Something went wrong. Did I miss one hero power? Did I miss hero power before playing Velen? Or did it count ro wrongly? I 
I think I missed hero power before playing Velen. Okay, never mind. Since he doesn't have greater healing potion anyway. Oh, he was at 33. Okay. I could have just played 10 mana potion instead and kill him next turn. Okay. I might keep Talos if it's a Jade Druid. Yeah, let's actually keep Talos and I like keeping Curious Gleam Root. So obviously Wrath. So he doesn't have Mark with the Lotus in his deck. So I guess it's a big druid. If I get power world shield it will probably be the best draw because I can play Lyra plus shield and if he doesn't kill it and most likely he will not be able to kill it it means that I'll just win the game. Oh, hopefully he doesn't have Kun. Hey Adrian Nedu. I haven't seen Hunter race deck list. So next turn is ultimate infestation turn. So let's clear the board to play around it. And let's draw some cards. Why China? Because I'm in a tournament. Oh. I can shadow work for her and play loot hoarder, but I. Since I have pin size potion, it's such a valuable card now. I can fish for potion of madness. Unlucky. So let's take Shadow of Death in this case. It will be useful later on. Thank you, Moose Pleos. We already uh, managed to qualify to the knockout stage, to the winner bracket. And uh, the rest of the matches in the uh, group stage are a matter for us. Oh, it's actually a Jade Druid. I thought it's a big Druid. And it seems like. 
Seems like he doesn't have ultimate infestation. But ultimate infestation wasn't that amazing before, so he, he might still have it. And probably will have to play coin this turn. Let's draw first, maybe I'll get Shadow of Pain. Ooh, Radiant Elemental is so good with Lyra. But I have to use a coin to not burn my card. Is this an honorable deck, Pavel? Of course, all of the decks that I'm playing are honorable. Zakus is nice, but now I will probably just play Potion of Madness plus Dragonfire Potion. Yeah, he doesn't have ultimate infestation. I think I just win the game at this point. Well, Nourish can also help him. Yeah, it's 4 p.m. now. Okay, apparently he has ultimate infestation. Do you think Jade Root with ar all armor cards will be able to beat Arrakos Priest in the next expansion? I mean, right now Jade Druid is favorite against uh, Kazakus Priest. It's like one of the worst matchup for Kazakus Priest. I think I'd take 10 on the potion here. Looking for AoE. Hmm. Okay. So it's a good tempo potion. If I play Acolyte, he can overdraw me. So even though it's not the most valuable Shadow of Death, still better to play it now. And I want to save her Elemental because I can get a lot of value of him with, with Lyra. I think it's a potion turn. Nice. Rest of, of the Feast is nice. It'll be so hard for him to deal with my board. By the way, do you heard about the new Hunter card Black Half? What do you think about it? I haven't heard about it, honestly. Oh, so aggressive. Doesn't make any sense because I can just heal back with uh, Priest of the Feast anyway. Ooh. It's a reasonable draw, guys. I like healing my face. And Jade Druid doesn't run dragons. He will also overdraw himself. So at this point, I just win the game. And at least if I get my Raza. Oh, mind control tech would have been so good here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good for me. So if I get Raza, I just win the game. Okay. Seems good to me. And next turn I can probably just kill him. Oh, 
with uh, Lyra plus Radiant Elemental and Mind Blast. So the game is over, guys. Your magic shall not Spellbreaker doesn't change anything. JD Emo doesn't change anything. I'm curious how much damage I can deal this turn without using my board. This animation's so slow, guys. Take so much time. Hopefully he will not concede. Technically it's infinite damage. Okay. I can rest now. Easy game, easy life. 